Now it's Rachel from My Animal Matters here. So I'm going to talk to you about how to offer an essential oil to your dog. Sounds super simple. It actually is really simple, but the key to uh, success is listening to your dog, listening to their choices and respecting their choices. So essential oils are volatile, aromatic, non-water soluble chemicals. They are, um, they contain between anything between 100 and 300 different chemical constituents. Your dog can detect the different chemical constituents within essential oils. So it's really important that we don't impose essential oils on our dogs. We certainly don't apply them topically unless they have been selected, but that's a whole other video. Um, so because dogs have the innate ability to detect which ones they need, we uh, need to offer a selection. But I find if you're just starting out with this approach, if you're wanting to learn how to read your own dog, start with just offering just one oil at a time so you can get to know their responses. So um, if you're working with your dog in a room, ideally, definitely off lead, it's really important that the dog is able to move away if they're not interested or actually if they find the oil offensive, which I know some oils make me feel sick or give me a headache. If it's not the right oil for them, they need to be able to move away and they need to be able to indicate that clearly to you. Um, so you may want the room to be ventilated or just for them for, to leave the door open so they can leave. And I'd work with just one dog at a time so you can really focus your energy on them. Um, now, here's an essential oil. The bot, the bot, sorry, the molecules are volatile. So I haven't taken the lid off this, but I can still smell it. This is German chamomile, which is um, commonly selected by animals who have any sort of inflammation, who have stomach disorders, um, who are anxious. So taking the lid off the essential oil, if your dog is in the room, don't call them over. Simply sit with the oil, take the lid off and watch. So you're going to watch what your dog does. So even if they're at a distance, even if they're in the other room, on some level they will be registering the odour. Dogs have an incredibly powerful sense of smell. We have something like six million olfactory receptors. They have on average between 100 and 300 million. Powerful sense of smell. The part of the brain that's devoted to scent is 40, four zero times more, time, four zero times larger than ours. So to offer an essential oil like this to a dog, and the dog, this is essential oil, that's way too much. To have the essential oil diffusing in the room and the dog can't get away from it, if that's an oil, if, that, if there's chemicals within that essential oil the dog doesn't need, it, will, it could be upsetting their stomach, it could be uh, giving them a headache. It, it, it's really important that you ask your dog are they selecting it? Is it an oil that they need? Is there something within this essential oil they need to help them feel calmer, to work on a cellular level, whatever it is? Choice is key. So you've taken the lid off and you're sitting with the oil. Now the signals you're looking for, your dog could be two, three meters away and they could be responding to this. So obviously no switching, so they're actively taking the chemicals up through the nose. Uh, essential oils have the ability to penetrate the blood-brain barrier, so they are working on the brain. They can influence cellular communication. So, so their nose may be actively twitching. You may see licking, which means they're taking the molecules in through the mouth. Um, they have a vomeronasal organ, which uh, sometimes you might see just sort of with their mouth is closed. You might just see a slight puffing at the side of the cheeks. This is them taking the molecules in, in through the vomeronasal organ, which has a direct link to the limbic system. Now, the limbic system is the emotion center of the brain. It's where we and animals store emotions and memory. So sniffing, licking, you may see yawning. You you'll, may see changes in their tension in the body. Breathing is a really good one to look at because sometimes you can't, with certain dogs, you can't see the nose twitching. Um, so looking at the breathing, is it speeding up? Is it slowing down? Are they breathing more deeply? Have they gone from moving around to just sitting down? Are they, do they have a vacant stare? Are they staring into space or are they facing the oil? Some dogs will come over and have a, a couple of sniffs and then move away or they may make a grimace and move away. 
So really, you're not looking for, is the dog coming over and sniffing and then, yes, that's a yes. What you're looking for is what's happening after you've taken the lid off. That, it, the key is just observing that. So whether they're moving away, are they sitting down, are they laying down, are they yawning, just simply observe that. Because then when you go to offer the next oil, you've got something to compare it to because what is a yes for one dog may be a no for another. Um, some dogs have been really, some dogs are really obvious, which is fantastic. Some dogs will, you know, really interact with an oil. They'll, they'll go towards it, they'll go and mouth at it, they'll do lots of yawning, they'll go and lay down. Um, other dogs are really, really subtle and they are actually the best teachers because they're the ones that really fine tune your listening skills. Um, so take your time with it, be mindful, give your dog a choice. Do not ask them to come over, do not force the remedy on them. If they're not interested, respect that. Um, so if you want more information about this, go to www.myanimalmatters.co.uk. I run workshops where you can come and actually see this in action. I hold talks and I obviously do one-to-one -one sessions as well. And I do have an online shop selling all the natural remedies. So please do ask questions. My next blog will be coming up soon and that will be all about um, the most commonly selected remedies that are selected by anxious dogs. So I look forward to sharing that one with you. Thank you very much. Bye.